The Avalanche Rescue, Clara and Max's brave journey in the snow-covered mountains of Switzerland, nestled in a small village, lived a 12-year-old girl named Clara and her loyal St. Bernard. Max Max was no ordinary dog. He was massive, with a coat as warm as a blanket and eyes that sparkled with intelligence and kindness. Clara's father, a mountain rescue guide, had trained Max to help in emergencies. Together, the three of them often ventured into the snowy wilderness to assist lost hikers or guide stranded travelers back to safety. Clara had inherited her father's love for the mountains and his unwavering determination to help others. She spent hours training Max, teaching him commands, and making sure he was always ready to spring into action. Max adored Clara and seemed to understand her every word. One cold winter morning, Clara woke to the sound of worried voices in the village square. Pulling on her boots and coat, she ran outside with Max close behind. What's happened? she asked, her breath clouding in the icy air. Avalanche, a villager said, pointing to the mountains. Several hikers were caught in it. We've sent for help, but it will take hours for the rescue teams to arrive. Clara's heart raced. She looked at Max, who stood tall and alert, as if already sensing the danger. We can't wait that long, she said. Max and I will go. The villagers hesitated. Clara was young, but they knew her courage and her bond with Max were unmatched. Her father had trained her well, and Max was the best rescue dog in the region. Be careful, the village elder said, handing her a small emergency kit. Clara nodded, her eyes determined. We will. Clara and Max set off into the snow, the cold biting at her cheeks as she trudged through the drifts. The mountains loomed ahead, their peaks shrouded in mist. Stay close, Max, Clara said. The Saint Bernard barked once in response, his deep voice echoing through the quiet wilderness. As they reached the site of the avalanche, the scene was overwhelming. The snow had swept down the mountain with incredible force, burying trees and rocks in its path. Clara took a deep breath and scanned the area. Search, Max, she commanded. Max lowered his massive head, sniffing the snow with his keen nose. He moved methodically, his paws crunching softly as he worked. Suddenly, Max stopped and barked, digging furiously at the snow. Clara ran to his side, dropping to her knees. There's someone here, she shouted. Together, they unearthed a young man who was pale and shivering but alive. Clara wrapped him in a thermal blanket from her kit and gave him water. You'll be okay, she said gently. Max, and I will get you out of here. As they continued their search, Max found two more hikers buried in the snow. One had a sprained ankle, and the other was barely conscious from the cold. Clara worked quickly, using everything her father had taught her to treat their injuries and keep them warm. Max, we need to get them back to the village, Clara said, her voice steady despite the fear gnawing at her. The St. Bernard barked and crouched low, allowing the hikers to lean on him as they began the slow journey back. Clara led the way, her heart pounding as the snow began to fall again, soft at first, but growing heavier. The trek was grueling. The wind howled, and visibility dropped as a snowstorm moved in. Clara's legs ached, and her fingers were numb, but she pushed forward, keeping her eyes on Max's broad back. We're almost there, she called over the wind, though she wasn't sure how much farther they had to go. Suddenly, Max stopped and barked loudly. Through the swirling snow, Clara saw the faint lights of the village. Relief flooded her as she turned to the hikers. We made it, she said, her voice breaking with emotion. The villagers rushed out to meet them, helping the injured hikers into the warmth of the lodge. Clara collapsed into the snow, exhausted but relieved, as Max sat beside her, his massive body shielding her from the wind. You are amazing, Max, she whispered, wrapping her arms around his thick neck. The hikers recovered quickly, thanks to Clara and Max's quick actions. The village held a celebration in their honor, praising Clara's bravery and Max's unwavering loyalty. You saved lives today, the village elder said, placing a hand on Clara's shoulder. Your courage and Max's skills are an inspiration to us all. Clara blushed but smiled, glancing at Max, who wagged his tail happily. 
We're a team, she said simply. From that day on, Clara and Max became legends in Willow's Peak. Whenever danger struck, the villagers knew they could count on the brave girl and her faithful Saint Bernard to come to the rescue. But for Clara, the greatest reward was knowing she had made a difference, and that no matter how daunting the challenge, she and Max could face it together.